Well, I hope you had a blessed Thanksgiving. I hope you were able to spend time with family and friends and just enjoy the season that we're in. What I want to do is just take a few minutes and talk about the volatility that we saw on Friday, right? So I'm sure you're hearing on the news, there's a new variant of COVID-19 uh, that they discovered in South Africa. And from that, we, we have seen a multitude of different steps and restrictions that have been put into place. And some of it shook up the markets on Friday. Uh, there are a few factors that led to this volatility, one of those being oil. Right, We saw a big sell-off on oil uh, on Friday, which led to some of that volatility. You know, With that being said, the United States tapped our oil reserves earlier in the week to bring more oil into the marketplace to start to hedge or put downward pressure on some of the gas prices that we're seeing and the inflationary numbers that we're seeing. And at the same time, when you have a new COVID variant that's introduced or discovered, Ultimately, they're fearing that there will be less travel going forward, and with that, less demand for oil. So we saw a sell-off on the oil side on Friday, which led to some of that volatility. We also had the holiday trading, meaning there weren't as many traders placing trades on Friday due to the holiday, right? The, the markets closed early, so we saw a lot of people that were on vacation during that trading. Uh, that also can lead to bigger swings, either positive or more on the volatile side during those times. But really, most of the volatility was driven by the anxiety around, you know, what is the Omicron variant uh, and what does it mean for markets? So we'll most likely continue to see different types of travel restrictions. We've already seen that where the United States has restricted uh, travel to eight different countries in South Africa, we're seeing other developed nations in, in Europe and even in Canada now that have Omicron variants uh, in their nations and they're starting to restrict different things. But ultimately, we need to continue to stay long term, right? That is going to be key. Just like we've done throughout the pandemic for the last two years, you need to continue to focus on the areas that you know are going to be there longer than this year longer than next year. Continue to stay long-term with your outlook and your investing, and we will get through this. So ultimately, you know, when we look at the market as a whole, we've had a great year in the market, right? Even with the volatility we saw on Friday, we've had a fantastic year where we've seen great growth. So continue to stay well diversified. If you have specific questions about your accounts, about the market, you know, please feel free to give myself a call or someone here at the Chanel Financial Group a call, and we're glad to go through those questions with you in detail. Uh, if you have, like I said, any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to this video, and I look forward to speaking with you. Take care.